Aloha and welcome to Paradise Hawaiian Style. See that picture right there? That's our dancing dinettes. Our waitresses used to get up on stage, that's back at our old place at King's Village, a much bigger space, and do dance routines to songs like Do You Love Me, Grease Lightning from the movie Grease, YMCA. Sometimes they would even get volunteers up on stage and do dances with them. It was a lot of fun. So today I thought we'd do a little rewind and go back and take a look at a video of when we had a reality show filming at Rock Island Cafe. It was an Irish travel reality show that followed a bunch of kids as they experienced traveling in different parts of the US. One of the workers came to work at Rock Island Cafe and she had to go through the whole thing of getting up there and becoming one of our dancing dinettes. So let's take a look at that video now. And in Honolulu, five students swap the streets of Dundalk for their own slice of paradise. It can only be J1, Summer in the Sun. While Dean plays the waiting game, Gina has landed what initially appears to be the cushier job, waitressing in an authentic 50s diner. Are you ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. Yeah, all right, let's yeah. get you started then, huh? Hey. <laughs> we have to get yourself all dolled up. And have to get up and jump around and look like you're having fun even though you have no clue what you're at. You're all just looking around like filming me and laughing your heads off and but yeah well at least I did it. Thank God that's over. Well, you may wonder, why do we do that? Why do we get up there and do those little dances on the stage? Well, we were inspired by another diner in London that was very popular in the 1980s and 1990s. Their staff used to get up on stage and do little dances as well. We have some footage of them doing these dances here. See if you recognize a very young, kind of thinner guy that you might know. Check it out. Well, this car could be systematic, hydromatic, ultramatic. Grease is the word. Let's see him dance. First, I have to apologize that this is old school VHS video cassette tape. That's why the images are so blurry and faded. But let's just call it old school. It's got that special charm that nowadays you need a computer to recreate. Anyways, this photo is really cool. We ran around town handing out flyers for the diner in that 50s car dressed in our outfits. This is not Grease Lightning, but this is Rockin' Robin. There were a lot of great people that worked at that diner. A lot of them were study or travel abroad students that were in London working and experiencing life in a foreign country. Now that neon up there was a little dangerous. One night, an overly zealous customer jumped up on that bar with us there and slammed into that neon and it came coming down. But they had it fixed within a couple of weeks. I should have put a plastic cover over it to protect it. Hula hoops. Always great. Always a lot of fun. Not sure if kids really appreciate hula hoops and how fantastic they are. As you can see, we were having a great time. And it always created a lot of excitement and a lot of energy and the crowds just went wild for us. There we are waiting at the hostess stand for the customers to come in trying to look cool. 
great experience, great times at the Rock Island. Oh yeah. In reminiscing about the old diner, I found this promotional photo that was also used as a postcard for the old diner. You can actually see the bar there that we would get up and dance on that you saw in the video. And all the fun, cool collectibles, the car, the Coca-Cola signs, the tables, the chairs, all the fun stuff that were all the inspiration for our Rock Island Cafe in Hawaii. In fact, that looks a little bit like some of our employees. Some patrons having a good old time. I love cool drawings like this or artwork. I don't know what style you would call this. Maybe somebody in the comments below could sort of give me a clue, but I do think it's cool. Here's another fun piece. It's an actual cocktail menu and bar list. There's our server on there. There's our inspiration for the logo with a few Hawaiian modifications added to it. The diamond head, the guitars, fun shape, fun drinks, almost four pounds. That's only like $6. That's so cheap. Just goes to show you how old this is. Look at some of these fun names. There's an I Love Lucy and the Laverne and Shirley, Leave it to Beaver. Try to get all those classic TV shows in there. And of course, a happy hour. One pound, that's like $1.50 for a soda. Nowadays, sodas are like five bucks. Still, the good old days. Oh, what more surprises do we have in here? There ain't a cocktail in the world our bartenders can't make. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot make that same claim. We simplified things quite a bit at Rock Island Cafe in Hawaii. But there's some great, fun things on here. And a lot of great drinks. I can attest to that. From experience of trying a lot of these different drinks back in the day. And enjoying them. Oh, happy, happy days. All right, guys, thanks for reminiscing with me and walking down memory lane. I hope you had a good time checking out the old videos and, and seeing what inspired our dinettes to get up there and dance. And that old video of that Irish reality show when they came and visited us, that was a lot of fun too. All right, hope to see you again real soon. Aloha!